Ukraine marked 100 days since Russia's invasion on Friday with fighting raging across the east of the country, where Moscow's forces are tightening their grip on the Donbas. The somber milestone came as Kyiv announced Moscow was now in control of a fifth of Ukrainian territory, including Crimea and parts of the Donbas seized in 2014. After being repelled from around the capital, President Vladimir Putin's troops have set their sights on capturing eastern Ukraine, prompting warnings the war could drag on. Following White House talks with U.S. President Joe Biden, NATO Chief Jen Stoltenberg warned Thursday that Ukraine's allies needed to brace for a grueling war of attrition. We just have to be prepared for the long haul, Stoltenberg said, while reiterating that NATO does not want direct confrontation with Russia. Despite a slower-than-expected advance, Moscow's forces are making progress, President Volodymyr Zelensky told Luxembourg lawmakers about 20 percent of Ukrainian territory was now in Russian hands. Since Russia's February 24 invasion, thousands of people have been killed and millions forced to flee. On the battlefield, up to 100 Ukrainian soldiers are dying every day, according to Zelensky. Street battles are raging in the industrial hub of Severodonetsk and Lugansk, part of the Donbas. Russia already controls about 80 percent of the strategic city, but its defenders are putting up stiff resistance, with Lugansk regional governor Sergei Gaide vowing Ukrainian forces will fight until the end. Severodonetsk's Azot factory, one of Europe's biggest chemical plants, was targeted by Russian soldiers who fired on one of its administrative buildings and a warehouse where methanol was stored. Ukrainian troops were still holding an industrial zone, Gaide said, a situation reminiscent of Mariupol, where a huge steelworks was the southeastern port city's last holdout until Ukrainian troops finally surrendered in late May. In the city